<coughs> Human trafficking. Human trafficking is a modern slavery and has been estimated that 14,500 to 17,500 victims are trafficked in the United States. Fewer than 15,000 victims have been inflicted and reported, and that is a tiny fraction of the total amount. The amount could be more than 10 times around the world. Human trafficking is not something that is new, but it is getting bigger and is more dangerous now. Fewer than 15,000 victims has been inflicted and reported, and that is a tiny fraction of the total amount. The reasons why people get the idea of having uh, to take someone is mostly for money and sometimes for themselves, as they could use traffickers to do their work around the house or other things. They are also happen to use them to sell to other people as sex slaves and use them to make money for having uh, sex with different men. Sometimes it's not even the woman that gets sent out for sex trafficking, but also men could uh, be a victim as well. Also, they use people that they have kidnapped to enslave and make money for. It. Statistics shows that human traffickings are stranger and people we know they can be people we meet on the internet or on the street. There is no exact profile for these bad people. Human trafficking happens everywhere in the United States, but there are some states where it happens the most, and those states are reported to be in Florida, New York, Texas, and also the California. But one of the biggest cities tend to be in Las Vegas, as there is a lot of partying and drinking and gambling over there that it tends for people to be going home late at night. This gives traffickers the chance to uh, take their victims in as they are more vulnerable and also sometimes alone. And here's the video for us. Vegas. Byproduct of our, of our city um, makes it the hot spot in the United States for that. Being child is a potential victim. It just is. This is, con this is considered sin cities. Typical pimp looks like a typical person. And what you have is people who come here from other states and other countries for one reason and one reason only. For sex. Recently, as you know, I crafted AB67, which took effect in July, uh, to hold perpetrators accountable and help victims of sex trafficking. A new campaign about human trafficking kicked off today with someone controlling you. The ask can be seen around the valley on five billboards. The sex trafficking problem in southern Nevada is growing every day. 
Today, we launch five new billboards in Southern Nevada to educate folks on human trafficking, to bring awareness and resources to see, say, and speak the things that we, the law enforcement, need to hear, need to see, and need to respond to, so that we can bring these kids back home. This is the map of the potential human trafficking cases in the U.S. As you can see, there are no safe uh, states. These are actual hotlines, cases that people actually call, and that's the red spots. There are many different types of trafficking, and each one is not similar to the other ones at all. One type of trafficking is organ trafficking, which is when people take their kidnapped victims' organs and take and use them to sell on what is known as the black market. The second type is trafficking, the sex trafficking, and the third type for slavery, and the fourth is type is for ransom. People get trafficked by either going to parties and just needing to get a ride home but are too drunk. Some traffickers will drug their victims as well. Some traffickers' victims may just be looking for a ride somewhere and get picked up that way. Traffickers find their victims on the internet by going on the internet. They can make their victims feel like they can trust them and they could use them by either asking for money for them to send pornography so that they can use that to blackmail them or just to get information about their family, putting them not willing to do it as they say. The victims of human trafficking are mostly teenagers of the age around 14, but can also be younger. Most of the victims of human trafficking do tend to be women, but there are men and young adults uh, that are trafficked as well. Also, Native Americans tend to be uh, stalked twice as much as other uh, people, and women are mostly to be trafficked as well. Uh, what is the government doing? The government has many titles of law enforcement and different departments that are focusing on helping people. They are human traffic and finding the traffickers to arrest them. They are willing to do as much as they can to help an anyone that has been trafficked or threatened. All the departments of the government are working together to try to prevent human trafficking. The most we can do to help prevent human trafficking is by educating the public what to be on the lookout for, always being aware of unusual acting young adults and children. I would love to see a world where you've got a whole generation growing that go we know about modern day slavery. The reason it's gone so big is because nobody knew about it. Former drummer Phil Knight set up his education charity teaching children about modern slavery after hearing the story of his 16 year old student who had been sex trafficked from Moldova to the UK as a young girl. I just couldn't get my head around it. And it was only as we sort of got deeper and deeper into it that we realised, well, I don't think there's anyone else who's going into primary schools and teaching kids about this type of stuff because it's such a difficult subject matter and you phone a school or you, you talk to a school to say, can we come in? And, you know, they sort of go, modern day slave and human trap, really? Um, but once we send them the stuff and they see how we work, it, we're straight in. What happens if everything you make your slave do, what happens if I make you do that? Just Enough UK has been running school workshops on modern slavery for eight to 16 year olds since 2013. In the UK alone now, we've educated over 30,000 children, and that's just going up and up and up with the amount of schools that are now booking in because we built a name on trust. You. You look quite strong, you're quite strong. Good, because today you're going to be my slave. I have a lot. Trained actor Lindsay McKay has been leading workshops for the past year. 
Within the hour long workshop, we start off with introducing who we are, establishing that we're in a safe environment. We then jump back in time to just see the knowledge that children have already of the topic. Now, has anybody heard of William Wilberforce? 20 years it took for him to get all the signatures he needed to ban slavery. We go through role play scenario with them where the kids get up and get involved. Up you come, Barry. Through acting, different scenarios that could lead to trafficking and how people are tricked into it. So I have their passport, so what does that mean now? Barth, yeah? They can't leave the country. They can't leave the country, or they can't leave me. And then from there we do our buy signs of slavery. So these are the signs to keep you all nice and safe. Also the people around you. Lindsay believes she has first-hand experience of being groomed by a trafficker while studying in Madrid. I lived in an all-female flat with a living male landlord. And within the short month that I lived there, I had um, gifts given to me. I was told that I needed to go and meet his friends. He would get angry when I didn't. If I went home, would come pick me up from the airport unannounced. Um, would track my flights and things like that. He sent me letters and telling me about how I need to, to go with him. And, and looking actually back at it now, especially with the work that I'm involved with just enough, I realise how close I actually was. Um, and if I didn't have a supportive family, I probably might have fallen into it. The most important thing for me was that she was able to take all of that knowledge and all of that and adapt it into her workshop without ever scaring the children because the biggest thing for, for Just Enough and my rule is it can never shock them. They can never be scared, they can never be uh, worried about what they've seen. Let us know what you thought of the workshop, whether you enjoyed it, whether you'd like something different, what was your favourite bit, the five ways that you can identify someone who's um, maybe in slavery because I think that that's a very helpful thing. The presenter was um, like showing her expressions and she wasn't really shy. I just learned more about modern slavery and now I understand. The aim now for Phil and his team is to spread the anti-slavery message to children worldwide. I'm off to America to start building Just Enough USA. You've been asked by government, where else can you build this? If you can do a workshop on, you know, a great flat screen in a really, you know, great school in London, could you do the same workshop on the back of a truck in Nigeria with no electricity and stuff? And I've said definitely because it's all down, and as you saw with Lindsay and the team, it's all down to the magic of the presenter. So now how many of you believe that one person can change the world? I thought that would happen. Isa Suarez, TNN, London. We can also teach our young generations everything we know about it as seen in this video. The reason why education, educate, educating yourself about human trafficking could help us prevent it is because we know how uh, when something seems wrong or something is off about the situation. Also, if we see that someone is in trouble as being taken or maybe they are in public but is scared to answer or call for help, then we would know how uh, to take some action. The government has many entitles of law enforcement and different departments that are focusing on helping people that are human trafficked and find the traffickers to arrest them. They are as much as they can to help anyone that has worked in. All the departments of the government are working together to try to prevent human trafficking. There are different ways that people who have been human trafficked can stay to recover from what they have gone through. The first thing is that they need to ask for help. There are special programs that conceal victims' trauma. Also, by being around family and trying to get back to their normal life, then they will be starting to recover. Uh, I had an interview with Anna Lee's tape. Uh, I interviewed her about human trafficking around Mona County. She said that there was no reports of labor trafficking in our area. She said that the county offers training to staff and students about human trafficking 
She said that the county offers. Oh, in the interview, she has said that she believes that human trafficking has always been a problem, but they are now seeing that uh, with education and being more aware of it, society can help uh, prevent it. Uh, in conclusion, people can be taken, but if we know how to be safe, we can reduce trafficking. To make sure you don't get into a situation that could be dangerous, always be around with your friends and don't get a ride with someone from a, a party that you don't know. Be safe and aware of your surroundings and educate yourself on human trafficking because the more you know about it, the more you'll be safe from human trafficking. Also be careful online social media, you never know if people are trying to trick you uh, to meet them in person or to get some pornography to blackmail you later or to get anything like information off of you that will be putting you in danger. You can call this number if you see anything that is suspicious on the street when you think that someone is in danger of being trafficked or if you are trafficked and have the chance to call, call that number. Um, Sierra College is the college that I would want to go to after my senior year for two years and then transfer to a four-year college such as Sac State, UC Davis, or any other four-year college that I might be interested in. I would go to college for basketball and also to figure out what I want to be when I uh, get out of college. And that's it. Uh, it just popped in my head. <laughs> All right. Any All right, other well, questions? No? Anymore? Okay. All right. Good job, James.